What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Therapy Range. I'm your host, Paul Riley. Today, we're shooting ballistics gel. I've got a couple of guns out here that are on loan to me from a good buddy. We've got a Remington 700 chambered in 22 250. We've got a, a, a Browning 30 out 6 chambered in 30 out 6. And we've got my 38 special out here. And we've got a, a handful of different rounds, semi exotic rounds. They're not exotic, but semi semi-exotic rounds no they're not exotic rounds I, I i'm not i can't i can't lie to, as your therapist i can't lie to you they're not really exotic rounds they're just really big rounds that move really fast and we're going to shoot that block of ballistics gel right yonder special shout out special shout out to ballistics dummy labs for hooking up hooking us up with the cool ballistics gel Thank you a lot, guys. There's a link in the description to where if you want to get some ballistics dummy gel for yourself, you can use that link and save 10% at checkout. And then a little teeny tiny portion of that comes back to Therapy Range to help buy range supplies. If you want to help Therapy Range, there's a number of ways that you can do it. You can do it by going to PatriotShit.com. That supports us. You can do it by going to X Steel Targets. They support us. You can do it by going to Ballistics Dummy Lab. They support us. And there's an Amazon link in the description below to where if you want to go help us out with some targets and different things that we need for the range, you can do that. And uh, do that anonymously. You know, the package will just show up and yay, I've got stuff on the range to use. And you just get to feel awesome because I don't even know who you were. That would be fun. One of these days, maybe. 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 Until then, I'm going to get the range set up a little bit better and we're going to shoot. All right, guys. So what we got here is we got some of these uh, Glazier safety slugs. These things are uh, 80 grain projectiles. I was told that they've been clocked at 1400 feet per second. And then underneath these little red blue uh, caps is supposed to be multiple bird shots. So we're gonna check these out today and see what kind of wound cavities they have. We're going to be using my uh, Smith & Wesson 38 Special. I've had this out on a couple of videos now. She's old. She's not real pretty anymore, but she still sends rounds down range. Load it up. Here we go. Let's send a couple and see what it looks like. I've never shot ballistics gel before. I'm curious to see how this works. There's one. Here's the second one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, look at all that shot in there. That's pretty... I tell you what, that would suck to get hit with that. I don't know how well it comes up on the camera, but this block is just plumb full of bird shot let's say what is that about five and a half to six inches in and it looks like it looks like our piece might our jacket might be on the table inside there that one you can see it in there that jacket it's 16 inch block so there's that much block left so i'd say we got full penetration of about 10 inches and then it looks like, just from what I can see here, it looks like the projectile's basically full of those little pepper, little BBs, bird shots. Oh, that would make a mess out of a person. All right, so now that we've got that exciting part out of the way, let's shoot this uh, Remington, this Remington chambered in, uh, in uh, 22250. I think this is going to be fun, and I'm really excited to see what the ballistics block is going to look like. And I tell you what, this Remington 700 is a boss of a gun. Alright, so what we got here is uh, 22-250. These are uh, 55 grain full metal jackets. We're just going to rip one through it, and then we're going to get to this uh, ballistic tipped one and see what it does. Weapon is hot. <laughs> I 
All right, you can see it knocked it plumb out of the gel block or under out from the strap. Holy crap, we caught that bullet. We caught that. Did you look at that? It's right there. Look at that wound cavity. Because we're shooting at such close range, I would imagine that that's gunpowder. The gunpowder didn't all burn up before it hit here, would be my guess. But that, 55 green, full metal jacket, 22250, cleared about 14 inches of ballistics gel. I hope the other camera got a good shot of this thing just uh, doing its thing, because look at that. That's a good two, two and a half inch wide wound cavity. That is just unbelievable. All right, let's shoot it with that ballistics tip bullet. Let's... All right, so I got the block set back up. I'm gonna use one of these 55 grain ballistic tips. I think this thing, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I've never shot ballistics gel before. I've never shot a, this caliber gun before, so I just simply don't know. We're gonna find out together. Yeah, we're gonna find out together. It's therapy time. Let's do this. All right, I'm just gonna try to aim just above where I placed the last one. Get this gun good and tight against the old shoulder. All right. So let's check out what we got on this second block, second shot, or at least some of it. You see two clearly well-defined wound channels in there. I see pieces of uh, brass jacket, a copper jacket floating apart coming out of there. I guess I got the shots placed just a little too good because uh, it looks like basically one giant wound channel, but there's actually two giant wound channels in there. They're just kind of mixing together. But there, right there, you can see I clearly got both of the bullets in there. Right there they are at the end. They fragmented up real good. They busted apart, but they are most certainly in there. Alright guys, so this one up next, still out of the Browning 30-06, is the 55 grain accelerator. This is a nasty, nasty looking bullet. Uh, this thing is supposedly, from what I was told, has been clocked at up to 4,200 feet, feet, 4, feet per second. This has got to be one of the fastest bullets in the, in the world. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a bullet scientist. I can't say for sure, but I know that that's pretty damn fast. That's faster than anything that, that I have in my gun cabinet. So let's shoot this thing and see what, what it does to this ballistics gel. All right. All right, so let's see. Right about there is where we went in. You can see, look at that big old nasty wound channel. Just incredible. And I'm blown away. We got that bullet too. It's still in there, but look at all that nasty fragmentation going on how it opened up that flowered out that wound channel like just unbelievable so at about three inches deep that round it basically explodes and then starts ripping fragments all throughout your internals until it comes to a stop ah here we go readjust here we go i got two more shots to take here i got he wants me to shoot, my buddy wanted me to shoot this tracer round. It's too bright out to see the tracer, but he was hoping that maybe this thing blows up in the block. So let's see if it blows up in the block, eh? Well, that one kicked hard.
entry. Look at that. Wow. That did the exact opposite of the last 30-06 round where it opened up and flowered out early upon penetration. That one, look at that streak of fuel. I guess that's fuel from the incinerary where it never went off. Came in and didn't flower until about 8 to 10 inches in. Look at how that round came in and curved up. And it looks like it came out of the ballistics gel right there by my strap. I got a hole right Oh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, get in there. Get in there, finger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in there. Wow. That is just an epic wound channel through there. All right, I got one more. I got a little bandolier of some AP rounds out here. And of course, we know what these AP rounds are gonna do. They're gonna rip right through that. But, you know, they were provided by a fan that enjoys the show and wanted to see what some of these rounds, what the, what the, what the outcome was. You know, he had seen other videos by other guys, but he had never seen it on therapy range. So, here we are. We're going to do it on therapy range. Alright, 30-06 AP round. I don't have the grain information on these, but I hope you're having a hell of a good time, because I know I am. Anytime we can get out here on the range and burn ammo, I, I speak for myself, but I hope that you can relate. It's very therapeutic. Let's do this. All right, let's check this thing out and see what we ended up with. All right, so here we go. Entry was right about there. There's our wound channel going through. Looks like... Uh, it looks like that one just blew straight through. Right there. Right there is the exit hole. That one looks like it came in kind of at an angle and just went across the entire block and came out over here. Look at the size of this wound channel. It's just crazy. Look how big that is. I haven't cut it. That's just where that AP or the, uh, the tracer round come right out the side of it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, live your life to the fullest because anything less is a complete and utter injustice to yourself and every single person around you. I had a great time out here shooting this ballistics gel today. I hope you did too. Until next time, take really good care of yourself. I look forward to seeing you on another video really, really soon. Take care of yourself. This is Therapy Range. Peace.